Hey, Catherine, how you doing? Thank you so much for including your your stamps. Really great start here. Love the concept too, by the way. I think I mentioned that as well. I love the concept. Uh, as far as the illustrations, well, I think you've got a really good start. And as you mentioned, there, there's more detail we need. And there is. There def definitely is. And, uh, you know, one of the things, and I don't know if you've gone through any of the other videos in this 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 critique series, but um, one of the things I keep mentioning is that it's a series. It's a series. This is a stamp series, so there should be some consistency between um, skin tone. Uh, I know that they're completely different in the image, but again, this is serious there, so there would be some artistic licensing that, that you would take um, as an artist. Take some some liberties here to try to create some consistency in the um, in the, the, the series itself. Um, okay, I, I would say at this point we're underdeveloped in, in terms of developing um, uh, depth, dimension, and, and volume in the illustrations and and I, I would say that the main reason here is um, that there's a lack of a depiction of a shadow and highlight in the skin areas in the facial features in the hair and in the clothing and here in this case in the hands as well um, so yeah, oh by the way she doesn't have eyelashes I would add eyelashes for some consistency so what you want to do is, is, is there's a several tutorials in the class. Of, if you go back to week three and take a look at week three announcement, there's about a dozen um, tutorials. Uh, I think a good 10 of them are video tutorials as well. So you can go through those and learn how to, to, to depict shadow and highlight in, in illustration. And I think it's really important because we it, it bring it to more of a, a result like this little highlights on the cheeks. See how that adds roundness to the cheeks, those little highlights? These little contour lines right here, the teeth, shadow and highlights on the, the lips themselves, the glasses under the eyes, the hair, little shadows around here. Look at the depiction of shadow and highlight. And look at the, the robust um, uh, volume in this neck based just on these tonal variations depicting sh darker areas, shadow areas, and highlight areas. And again, in the clothing as well. So I, I would recommend that you go ahead and go through all the, all three of these videos, show you how to do that, and then the, the, a dozen or so videos that are located in the Welcome to Three, LV3 announcement. So um, it's a great start. I think that we're, we're, we're really, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm, I, I, we're pretty underdeveloped at this point. So um, I would say we, it's time to start start uh, thinking about, about really, really grabbing yourself a big cup of coffee, sitting down and, and hammering this out. Pay attention to shadow and highlights. It's the most important thing there is here. I mean, the contour lines, your hard lines look fantastic, but we really, really want to start developing the, developing these into um, illustrations that, sh that are representative of uh, shadow highlight, specifically the depiction of depth, dimension, and volume. Okay, so if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be here um, every day till the end of the uh, the, till the end of the course Sunday night. So if there's anything you want to run by me between then, between now and then, let me know. I'll be glad to address anything that comes up. Thank you very much, Catherine. Great start.